Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel, also the notification bell, like this video, and share. We have a lot of people in life that don't know where they want to go. And you got your set goals and dreams that you want to go to in life. You have a purpose. But there's some people in life that really don't have a purpose. They don't even want to be anywhere in life. So here it is. You're trying to find someone that want to grow, move forward, and have a better life within themselves. A lot of times people are not chasing the bag. They just want to be a person that sleeps all day, play video games. Sometimes we say, why is it I'm having so many bad luck, so much bad luck? A lot of times, the reason why we're having the bad luck is because of the surrounding energy that we have with us is actually sucking the life out of our soul. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Why you getting in? Why you getting in the fuzz? What's going on, people? Go, go, go. It is the day of another day of another day that we call Thursday. Anybody being said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world. We're living in locking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. Now, it's been a very, very different type of month for me. Um, I'm still trying to work through a lot of the things that I'm dealing with within my life and living and so many difficulties of death in this month, which I would not forget. Of course, the passing of my mother, which has been different. Every day I live, it's kind of like, it's kind of like we're living it all over again. It's like a bad dream. You just can't seem to get out most of the time when our parents pass on. Even though we may have problems with our parents, we still don't want them to die. We want to just kind of like, you know, struggle it out with them. But I want to tell you something. And within my struggle and the things I'm going through, I want to share with you as you can watch me as I, um, I guess, come out of this storm that I'm basically walking through that maybe helps somebody else that may be going through something similar to what I'm dealing with. You know, the fact that they passed, they both passed by COVID-19. And I watch people sit through the blog stuck about saying that it's fake, it's not real. And here it is, I got receipts if you were my life. You already know I showed you receipts on my mother death. Now the thing about it is that a lot of times people is speaking like um, that because they haven't affected them or someone close to them. This is what actually happened. Um, she actually talked to um, somebody came and posted to talk to her and said something to her. It got on her, the virus, and she went back to her husband. It got to him. He died like this. Within hours, he died. Um, she went to try to get everything together. She was upset. I don't know if it's in hours, but you know what I'm saying. He died really quick, like he died within a week. And he was dead inside the house when she was there with him and he was dead. So here it is, the person came inside the house, um, allegedly. So basically brought it into her. I'm not sure everything is accurate, but this is what I've been told. And the thing about it is that she actually went and got the funeral set up for him, her husband. And as you know, she fell into a coma. Like she just fell into it. And the thing about it is I think people feel like you get the... The, the far in the moments before you start getting sick, it didn't go that way. Like it just went on you. Like, like pass up. If you ever got a kind of person that's been drunk and you just fall asleep and wake up the next day, like, oh my God, I can't believe I fell asleep. You know, that's how it happened. And the thing about it was that she just couldn't break through it and stuff. And she ended up dying and passing on, which is on the 15th of this month. So I'm, I'm muddling through on a lot of things, different issues and stuff. And I'm not really taking a lot of BS from people and stuff. I actually did a video reference to another girl, which I would not name. And the family um, hit me up and it was like, we don't really feel as though you should put the video up because, I mean, we don't, we appreciate the fact that you put the video up, but we feel as though your PayPal should not be on your channel. Now, my thing is this, when I'm the kind of person like this, if I'm doing stuff like this for everybody, which I've done, Trust the time because y'all know I don't get paid for that. No one pays me. Sometimes people give me a donation. Most time they just don't. It's not like I say, if you don't want me to keep doing this, y'all got to pay me. I don't say that. I don't hit people up. Listen, I understand somebody in your family died. If you want me to do the video, this is my price. Anytime anybody that ever did anything online, they'll say, this is the price. If you want your videos, go viral. If your Instagram follows, if you want this, this and that, we need this amount of money. I never hit anybody up. I never told anybody had to pay me for anything when I did these videos because it was from the kindness of my heart. And sometimes people get so misconstrued, they get in their own way. So they felt as though I was trying to get money from the videos and stuff like that because I put it up. I said, like, no, I was not. 
where we feel disrespected. We feel as though you should take your PayPal down and not, you know, get money from this. Okay, first of all, any website, CBS, ABC, any website, they all have a donate thing on that channel. I mean, just because you click on that channel means you got to donate. Now, anybody who knows that got um, subscribed and stuff, they have a donate channel on it. They got it already set up on format, but they felt as though I need to take it down for this uh, case. So, you know what I did? I said, you know what? Let me apologize to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete your video. Because right now, I feel unappreciative. Here it is. My mother just died. And I'm looking out for you, pushing past pain to help you get up this amount of money. And then this is what you tell me about what I need to do to help. No, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to delete the video. And I'm going to delete it from another spot. And I'm going to delete it for all the locations that I did for you for free. Unappreciative. So I did this for you for free, which you would have never known. Because the money would still be coming to you. Nothing would have came to me. And the thing is like, you got in your own way. So if you get the money, so be it. You know, the thing about it is you have to be careful how you do things when people doing stuff in the kindness of their own heart. And it's not like I ask anybody for any money. When I say, I tell y'all, when I do these things, it's from the kindness of my heart. You know, and the thing about it is I do not demand anything. I do not demand anything for anybody. Well, sometimes people see my word, this is a raven. Here's a couple of dollars and here's something. You know, I appreciate what you're doing because you put yourself all the way out there for free. I'm not getting money from YouTube. I'm not getting money. But I don't bother y'all for that. When I go on my live, I'm like, let me put my, because the only reason why I put my, um, my PayPal on my live, because a lot of times I don't get the money from YouTube. So a lot of times I'm like, listen, this is what we'll do. I'll put it there. If you want to donate, donate. If you don't, that's fine. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to make sure you're okay and show you my love and appreciation to you. But that's not always going to go over to some people who does not do the work. And I, just, I don't understand. I have to stop saying I understand how people move because I don't. But I'm going to tell you something like, when you see people out there doing stuff for you, do not get in your own way. Because what was the blessing that could have been received, you just blocked it. Anyway, that way for it. This is my thing to my baby sisters out here that's trying to struggle and trying to build your brand. Let me tell you something. Make sure everything is lined up in your life moving forward. If you have people in your life that's not trying to move forward with their life, they sleep, they tired. Oh girl, I'm too tired to do this. I'm going to go to sleep. Let them sleep and you go ahead on about your minute. Find people who want something out of life. The one thing I realized in life, a lot of people really don't want nothing. I mean, they don't want nothing. They're just happy going outside, playing, looking at other people, hating on people that's trying to do things in life, and they have no problem with that. But the thing about it is, they don't want nothing out of life. You have to be careful who you pull to you, because sometimes people ain't meant to go to it. Sometimes those people just sit to be there where they need to sit. And when they get away from you, they can sit in the audience and watch you, and then of course they'll talk about you like a dog, because that's what people do. That could do the same thing you're doing, but instead of trying to get up on their business or start their brand or start what they could do, they won't do that, but they'll sit and, you know, start commentary about you. Another thing, if you meet a man and you like you like him and y'all moving for a man or one of the kids can be, and the person don't want nothing, like you got to wake them up. You know, what do you want? Oh, oh, man, I don't feel like doing this. I don't. They don't want nothing out of life. Leave them there. Because everything they're doing is not going to benefit you or them. Or them or you. They don't want anything in life. We have to understand a lot of people are already happy where they're at. They don't care if they're never going to have money. They don't care about trying to get further in life. They don't care about dreams and houses and goals and cars. They don't care about those things. They just want to sleep. They just want to sleep. Like, they get up in the morning, they get, well, they want to get something to eat, then the first thing you do, turn the video game on, want to watch TV, then go back to sleep. Some of them don't even wake up. They too busy sleeping. What are you doing? Like, life is passing forward. You have to keep moving forward. You have to strive. And my thing is this. I'm not trying to take him out of the sleep or her out of her sleep. Let them sleep. You just get your little things together and you move on. Wake up. A lot of times we have to leave people that we really don't want to leave. But the truth is the truth. Whether they want to deal with it or not, they're going to be asleep. you be up here. They'll still be sleeping. Probably won't even know you can move forward because they sleep. Leave people like that. Wake up. If people are not trying to build nothing out of life and they're not trying to go nowhere, you need to go somewhere. This is the thing I just want to share with you. As I push through to try to find my way back to me, 
um, with a lot of things I'm dealing with within my life and also my health because I'm afraid I'm having a stroke and I told y'all about that before so it's always in the back of my mind that I have to be careful of my actions that I have a stroke and next thing I know I'm um, incapacitated and messed up so my thing is this I just want y'all to remember one thing push forward if people don't want them out of life leave them where they're at it may not be the answer you want, but it's the truth. Now, sometimes people say, well, baby, if they kind of do want something, I have to push them. If people want things out of life, they don't have to, you wake up and say, hey, boo, you ready to start? They're like, okay, thank you for waking me up. That's somebody who wants something. Uh, hey, boo, you ready to start? Oh, my God, why you keep bothering me? Like, I don't feel like being bothered. There it is. You have to move forward because with all that negative energy is coming with them. Everything y'all do. Oh, why we got to do this? Oh, this ain't going to work. Why you keep trying to be so different? Why? Leave it there. Because everything they bring in is not going to benefit you in your life. Sometimes we have to leave people we really love to stand in our truth. Anyway, like I said before, comment below and you feel about this video. At the top, there's an Instagram button. You follow me, I'll follow you back. Let you I love you. Comment below and thank you for watching this video. Let you I love you and thank you for watching. Kiss the read. All right, now come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. Ooh, like I said before, subscribe to my channel. Tap this Instagram button. You follow me, follow back. Let y'all love you and thank you for watching. Kiss the read.